All right, we're here at AES 2006 in San Francisco, and we are here at the booth of Bag End. Bag End is a well-known loudspeaker designer manufacturer, famous throughout the world, of course, uh, probably most famous for their bass amplifiers. Uh, and I'm here with Henry Hine, who is, of course, the founding partner and chief designer of Bag End. How you doing, Henry? Great. Uh, Bag End has rolled out uh, for AES a new uh, device called the E-Trap. And the reason the E-Trap is cool is because there's been such an explosion in home studios and the creation of recording spaces out of uh, physical spaces that really weren't designed necessarily for handling audio. And so one of the things that uh, Bagan decided to do was to build a tunable bass trap. That is, an actual device that you place in a physical location and it actually attenuates troublesome bass frequencies, the kind of frequencies that will uh, color the way that you hear uh, your mix and will color the way sound uh, goes into, this, uh, into your recording and back out of your recording. So Henry, uh, tell us a little bit about the E-Trap. Well, the E-Trap is a tunable bass trap. It adds damping to, the, uh, to an acoustical space. So it, it damps the resonance of an acoustical space. Usually uh, the problem exists in small and medium rooms, uh, like a typical control room or a project studio. It's not necessarily limited to a, uh, a control room. You could use it inside a recording space, too, in a studio that had a resonance problem. And uh, it's very expensive to build uh, passive bass, bass traps. It takes space. This thing is tunable down to 20 hertz, and a passive one would be very large. You'd need a lot of, like a, basically a closet size or larger. Because the wave itself is big. Correct. A 20 hertz wave is actually physically large. You need a physically large absorber to absorb a, that low of a frequency. Yeah. So how many frequencies can the E-Trap handle? Two. We, we uh, provide two channels for two different modes. Uh, chances are the loudest one will be the the, uh, the primary, one of the primary uh, modes of the room, that will be the one that's giving you, pr you problems, the most audible one. Do you, uh, um, do, let me ask you this, how do we know uh, what the, uh, uh, how, how, does a, how does somebody who's uh, you know, looking in, in the E-Trap, looking to uh, pick up an E-Trap, how do they uh, uh, analyze their room? Well, um, you, if you have instrumentation, you can use uh, any kind of spectrum analyzer that you can get a high resolution in, the, in those lowest octaves. We're also providing some software that works on uh, Windows, and uh, it is a, uh, it's gonna be a free uh, dual channel FFT, so you can do transfer function measurements of your space, and you can hold the, the trace or the results of that measurement on screen, and then make a, uh, an adjustment on the, on the controls and compare it. So we're giving you a visual tool to do that with. Let's take a look at the controls. All right. It's pretty straightforward. Yep. It's set up like this. There's two channels. There's an output for the for a microphone. And this is the microphone output that can go into the sound card on your computer. So you don't need any really special hardware on your computer. You can use a little cord, hook it up to your computer, load our software, which is just an executable. There's no registry. It's a very simple little program, very lightweight. Uh, install on your computer. And just to be clear, this microphone refers to a microphone that's actually built into the system. This, this microphone is, right. is what's listening to the bass, and we send that output to the uh, to the uh, uh, analysis software. Right. Got exactly. it. Exactly. And speaking of software, let's take a look at a curve that's uh, from a real room that uh, Henry just uh, put together last night, right? Yep. 